Hello everybody, welcome to another video, but this time it is slightly different and I'm joined by the one and only Doc J. What's up guys, Dark J here and welcome to The Gauntlet, that's right. So for those of you guys who have saw the first episode of The Gauntlet, this is a game show with fast paced trivia questions. 30 minutes on the clock, and I have thrown down the gauntlet, and Sean Morabito has accepted the challenge. Yes, that's right, I have. <laughs> <laughs> and um, so for the in-game challenge this time, guys, we have chosen to, well, Sean Morabito has chosen the game Galaxy Arcade here, and uh, um, for the category, he has chosen PC Gaming. So, why did you choose PC Gaming? Be I chose it because it's the only trivia uh, that I only trivia question that I may have actually had a chance had a chance at. That's the only reason I picked it. <laughs> the, the only one you feel you had a chance at? Yes. <laughs> well, 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 we're gonna test that here in a little bit. <laughs> For everybody watching, if uh, you didn't see the first one, the rules are simple. All right. Um, I'm going to be asking questions. You have the ability, Sean, to pass on a question. Just remember that there is only 100 questions. So if all the questions are asked, the game ends right then and there, and we tally what we're at currently. Um, there's 30 minutes on the clock, so when the 30-minute timer ends, the game ends, and that's that. For the in-game challenge, um, we are going to be playing with the basic ships of this game, the Wasps. And the goal is going to be to get more money than the other person. So the person who gets the most money at the end of this with the Wasp is the winner. <laughs> so, uh, are, you, are, you, are you ready? Yes, I'm ready. Here's, here's the other thing. If you get a trivia question wrong... Dun, dun, dun... Then you must remove your hand from the keyboard and mouse, mouse and count to five. All right. And then place them back, back down. So probably old questions. <laughs> so I, I know there are parts of this game where like that's not going to be a big you know negative, but like say you're like hey, selling it, your ore. It'd or be a big your, big negative when you're trying to warp. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> So, uh, so, uh, all right, let's, uh, let's go ahead and get this ready. Um, I'm gonna put 30 minutes on the clock and ready, set, and start. The first question is in 1993, game developer Lucas Arts developed what game featuring a dog and a rabbit as the main characters? No idea. All right, one, two, Three, four, five. Uh, FIFA uh, soccer games made by EA had many titles. How many of these titles supported the DOS platform? Oh, I also have no idea that one as well. So <laughs> one, two, three, <laughs> four, five. Uh, in 1993, Virgin Interactive Entertainment released the first PC game to require two CD-ROM discs. What game was this? I still have no idea. <laughs> no. <laughs> All right, one, two, three, four, five. All right, Wolfenstein 3D and Doom were developed by what game company? Oh, I, I, I don't remember. Uh, if I'm two, three, is I do software. Uh. <laughs> what game developed by Sid Meier and published by Microsoft was developed in 1991? No idea. One, two, three, civilization. Four, five. Oh, that's the <laughs> game actually. No. Damn it! What? 
<laughs> what game featured the main character named Gordon Freeman and was released in 1998? One, two, three, <laughs> Half Life, four, five. Oh, damn it! Damn it! I, I didn't know a lot of the older games. <laughs> 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 the the main character for Tomb Raider series is what? Oh, I've actually never played Tomb Raider, so what? Okay. Yeah, I, I never, I've never played it. Okay, one, two, Laura Croft, three, four, five. I'd be surprised if I get one question right. Actually, <laughs> in Star in Starcraft, what title does Sarah Kerrigan take on once she is infested? I have no idea. I only, I only played that game once so many years ago. Alright, one, the, two, the Queen of Blades. three, four, five. Yeah, I'm not going to get any of these. I'll be surprised if I get one question right. <laughs> in, Warcraft, in Warcraft 2, you had to gather gold, lumber, and what other resource? Stone? Incorrect. Ugh. One oil. Two, three, four, five. In the PC game Minesweeper, what color is the number one on the squares? Blue. Correct. Yes. You got it. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Um, moving on to the next one here. In what game do players explore um, Norath, fight monsters and enemies, and interact with each other? No idea. One, two, EverQuest. three, four, five. Yeah, I've never never played that either. <laughs> what game got its title because game de because the game developer Square Enix was about to go bankrupt? And they thought this would be their last game. Oh, I, I've forgotten this one. I, I remember, I remember the name. Of the company was it? Was it Just Cause? Final Fantasy. Oh. One, yeah, cause the final two, fantasy. three, <laughs> four, five. <laughs> what is the highest grossing PC game of all time? Ooh. I'm not up to date on the highest grossing one, so I'm just gonna have to take a it, guess. Yeah, it's it's not it's not a newer game, so it is definitely one though that everybody's heard of. Oh, I'm gonna need to have a think. Hmm. We need some Final Jeopardy music. Do 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 Yes. Ugh, I I don't know. I don't know. I'm, I'm gonna pass. World of Warcraft. Oh, I've, it's another game that I've never actually played. But yes, ah, oh, <laughs> that that would have been a great guess. Oh well. All right, one, <laughs> two, three, four, five. What game released in 1961 was developed by Steve Russell and released on a PDP-1 mainframe computer? No idea. Alright, one, two, Space War. three, four, five. Yeah, I didn't know that one. <laughs> <laughs> how, many, how many rows of aliens are there usually at the start of a Space Invaders game? Oh. Ten? Five. Ugh. All right, one, two, three, four, five. All right, in the game Doom, which planet is the Space Marine 
posted to after assaulting his commanding officer. Never played Doom, so no idea. One, two, Mars, three, four, five. In the game The Sims, how many simoleons does a family start the game with? Oh, I remember playing The Sims like years ago. Is it four? 20,000 simoleons is the uh, uh, currency. Oh! Oh, it was the currency. Oh, that's right. Oh, crap. Alright, one, <laughs> two, three, four, five. What was the name of the main character in the game Witcher 3 Wild Hunt? Never played Witcher, so uh, no idea. One, two, three, Geralt of four, Rivia. five. <laughs> I'm doing so bad. What game series features a deep and rich lore that revolves around the land of Thetis? No idea. One. There's a clue. It's a Bioware game. I've never played any Bioware games. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five. It was, uh, it was Dragon Age. Never played that as well. <laughs> <laughs> this game takes place in an underwater city called Rapture with the main character by the name of Jack. One, two, <laughs> three, <laughs> four. Start counting. Right, yeah, you just start the count now. Bioshock. Yeah, never played it, so. Skyrim is part of what series? Oh, I actually never. I've I've never played Skyrim, but I know it's made by Bethesda, and I played Fallout. Yeah, Fallout's a good game. It's too, part. Though. Oh, I know. It's part of the Elder Scrolls series. Correct. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> this game, released in 2009 by Majang Entertainment, is a sandbox RPG that has sold more than 100 million copies. Come on, you gotta know this one. What was the question again? <laughs> <laughs> this ga this game released in 2009 by Mojang Entertainment is a oh, sandbox R Minecraft. Correct. <laughs> All right. This bundle released on December 3rd, 2007 contained Half-Life 2, Portal, Team Fortress 2, and episodes 1 and 2 for Half-Life 2. Uh, yeah, and what, what what was the name of the bun bundle? Oh, the name of the bundle. Uh, no idea. One, two, three, <laughs> four, five. It was called the Orange Box. Oh. Okay. This <laughs> this over-the-shoulder third-person horror game takes a character named Isaac through a mining ship full of alien uh, virus-infected bodies. No idea. One. Two, three, Dead Space. Four, five. Never played Dead Space. Uh, See, there's, there's so many games I've never played. <laughs> <laughs> what is the name of the robot protagonist in the game Grow Home? One, two, three, four, five. It's Bud. B U D. Ah, okay. This game, released in 2015, featured a big soccer field, only instead of people, you use cars to hit around a giant soccer ball. Rocket League. Correct! Yes! <laughs> this, um, this game, released on June 2nd, 2015, was Blizzard's first ever MOBA game. Overwatch? No, here is ah, the done. All right, one, two, three, four, five. And we actually what? may have some hey. company from the aliens nearby to us. Could be uh -oh. interesting. <laughs> <laughs> what what game series takes place in a post-apocalypse world filled with rad roaches, giant ants, and Fallout creatures for you? Correct. I knew you were gonna get yeah. that one. <laughs> All right. Um, the acronym PUBG actually stands for what? 
Plays Unknown Battlegrounds. Correct! Yes! Released in 2016 by Blizzard, this game featured colorful characters that split into teams of six, with each player choosing from a roster of over 20 characters known as heroes. Yeah, I will watch. Players on a... Yes, correct. <laughs> <laughs> We're getting into the games you know now, so... Oh, yeah, yep. Yeah. Which of the Far Cry games takes place in Hope County, Montana? Oh, I don't know. I've never played any of the Far Cry games. All right, one, two, three... Far Cry 5. Four. Five. Ah, alright. Alright, in what game um, that officially released on January 23rd, 2018, do you descend into the depths of an alien underworld filled with resources, creatures, wonder, and threats, craft equipment, and submarines to explore lush coral reefs, volcanoes, cave systems, and more? Subnautica. Correct! Yes! <laughs> in the open world survival game Don't Starve you'll be attacked by what boss monster if you cut too many trees oh I've forgotten the name of him but it's it's the the giant tree monster dude <laughs> <laughs> oh I he don't remember his name oh he is called a tree guard oh. at right, one Two, three, four, five. This RTS game released October fifteenth, nineteen ninety seven. Use the G, the Genie game engine, and allows the users to act as the leader of an ancient civilization by advancing through the ages. Civilization. No, but close. Oh. <laughs> Done. <laughs> It was Age of Empires. Oh, I actually played that. Oh, no. Right, one, two, three, four, five. <laughs> Dota 2 is developed by what major game company? I've never, I have never played Dota 2. So, I've... Oh, I don't know. Right, one... To Valve. Oh god damn it <laughs> <laughs> This online four player team based zombie horde versus survivor game was released in two thousand eight. What was it? No idea. One, two, Left Three, for Dead. Four, five. Never played Left for Dead as well. Oh no! <laughs> <laughs> There's so many games I have just I have not played. In the game Minecraft, eight pieces of paper and a compass is used to craft what? Oh, uh, I've not played Minecraft in like five years, and I do not remember what that craft is. Is it a new recipe? If it's a new recipe, then there's no way I would know. No, nah, this is this is an older uh, older, older recipe. So it was paper and a com Eight? and a compass in the middle. Yes. All right, I, I gave up one, two, a map, three. Ah, oh, God damn it! That's something I knew as well. <laughs> It's just I have not I hadn't played the game in so long and I just I just forgotten. I used to like remember all of the recipes. <laughs> <laughs> in the Valve game Portal, writings on the wall say that the cake is a what? I've actually never played Portal as well. So, oh no <laughs> what? What? The classic games Two, man classic three, game four, five I know <laughs> Um, it's actually a lie. They say the cake is a lie. Oh, I remember. I actually, I know that phrase. Oh, yes, it's well, it. Okay. Yeah. Oh, you having a bit of trouble over there? 
<laughs> a, a little bit, a little bit. <laughs> what action sci-fi shooter game it came out on June twenty second, nineteen ninety six, and featured thirty two single player levels and six multiplayer deathmatch levels of sheer terror. No idea. All right, one, two, three, four, five. Never heard of that game actually. Oh yeah, it's 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 a it's a classic. Uh, it's it's a classic like first person arena game. Ah, oh, alrighty. This RPG released in two thousand three allowed you to choose through actions to become either Sith or Jedi, and the main character's name was Revan. I'm I'm pretty sure it's a Star Wars game, but I'm I don't know the name, so I'm gonna have to pass one. Two, three, four. Night to the five. Old Republic. Ah, oh, there you go. I knew it was Star Wars, but I just didn't know the name. Ah, uh, oh, you like having are you having some <laughs> trouble in there? Oh my god! You <laughs> got... <laughs> oh, you had a whole fleet attack you. <laughs> Oh, well, we've been getting, getting by someone. <laughs> <laughs> Which dungeon crawler game re released first, B Baldur's Gate or Diablo? I'm gonna guess Diablo. Correct. Yes, I, that was a just that was a fifty-fifty guess. I did just there. <laughs> uh, how do how do I get a new wasp? Um, get a build ship. And Ship. yeah, click on. Oh, you need to go to the mega base. So just teleport to the mega base through the teleport menu. Then there's a there's a teleport. Oh yeah, okay. Yeah. Right. Then the once you're at the mega base, click on uh, go on the menu. Go into ship menu. Click on build ship. Go on miner, and then click on the wasp. Oh, there we go. There we go. Okay. All right. I'm back. I'm back. <laughs> <laughs> this game, developed by 2D Boy, features goo balls that are used to solve puzzles to get from one level to the next. Uh, I feel like I know this one, but I just I I can't think of it. So one, two, world three, of goo. four, five. I did know that one. Um, Neverwinter Nights was developed by what game company? No idea. One, two, three, <laughs> Bioware. four, five. Ah, oh, darn. Oh, th yeah, this is my one. Oh, I was about to steal your shit, man. Yeah, uh, you, you wouldn't <laughs> be able to. <laughs> <laughs> a game, a gaming PC features a piece of hardware required to process graphics. This is referred to as a GPU. What does GPU stand for? Oh no, I I've forgotten what it stands for. Ah, oh, oh, I I can't answer. All right, one, two, graphics three, processing four. unit. Ah, oh, done. <laughs> <laughs> I'm doing so bad. I have three points. I'm pretty pretty sure three or four points. Nine. You have nine points. I have nine points. Not. Oh, you have nine points. Birdie the Brain was one of the first game playing PCs ever developed. It was developed in 1950, or was it developed in 1950, 1962, or 1985? Now this is one of the first ever PCs to play a video game, and it was either 1950, 1962, or 1985. Definitely not 1985. So it's between the first two, what were the what were the first two again? 1950 or 1962. I'm gonna guess 1962. It was 1950. Oh, done! Alright, one, two, I was actually three, three I had a four, PC game five. Computer I, 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 I would not expect a PC gaming computer, like... Alrighty, I learned something today. 
And what game had a strange voice that, when played backwards, read "Eat your vegetables and brush after every meal"? Oh, I've got no idea. One, two, three, four, five. Diablo. Uh, yeah, never played it. What game holds the record for the largest in-game explorable map? Minecraft. Incorrect. Oh no, what is it? No Man's Sky. Oh no! <laughs> Alright, one, two, three, four, five. In the, in the game Stalker, Shadow of Chernobyl, in what region or country does the action take place? No idea. One, two, three, four, five. The Ukraine. Alright, alrighty. Okay. <laughs> I, I reckon I'm gonna do the worst out of every single person on the gauntlet. I'm just gonna say that right now. <laughs> I, I, I don't know. I mean, there's, you know, we're only episode two, so I mean, uh, you still got like 51 questions left, so you could still do this. I might get one or two more. <laughs> that you mean? <laughs> if, if best. <laughs> In the game Total Annihilation, two resources are essential to power and build units. They are metal and what? That would be metal and power. I'll I'll give it to you because it is like power, but they call it energy. So I'll still. Ah, uh, all right, all right, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> What is the name of the language spoken by the characters in the game The Sims? The lang language. Um. Yes. I I'm well. I'm pretty sure it'd be Sim something. Um. I have no idea. One, two, three, Simlish. four, five. There. Okay. Yep, Simlish. Uh, that, that's, that's just okay. It's sort of like English. But <laughs> yeah. Simlish, you know? <laughs> oh my goodness. What is the maximum level achievable in Guild Wars? I've never played Guild Wars, but I'm gonna guess. Hundred. Twenty. Ah. All right. One, two, three, four, five. PC Gamer Magazine honored Company of Heroes with what award in 2006? One, two, three, <laughs> four, five. I didn't even think I had any, really, any games in 2006. It, it was the Game of the Year award. Yeah, I would have no idea that one. <laughs> what game series featured a highly advanced machine race called the Reapers that intended to harvest a galaxy's si sen sentient life in a repeating cycle <sighs> that continued for countless millennia? Oh, I, mem I remember... Oh, what was the... Oh, I need to think. I remember this. Mass Effect. Cor yes! <laughs> <laughs> What game series first developed by Ion Storm and later taken over by Eidos consists of six games and has sold over five million units worldwide? Mm, no idea. One, two, three, Deus four, five. You ne never played that one as well. <laughs> what episodic... <laughs> A uh, graphic adventure game developed by um, Don't, Don't Nod Entertainment and published by Square Enix was released in five episodes periodically throughout 2015. Oh, I, I remember this. Oh, what was it called? From the perspective of yes, Nature yeah, Max. Yeah, I know. I know who it is. Oh, I've forgotten the name. Oh, no. Oh, what was it? Uh, I'm gonna have to pass. I just don't remember. Alright, one, two... Life is strange. No! Oh. 
That's what it was. Damn it! I knew that one. <laughs> Age of Empires is what genre of game? Real time strategy game. Correct. Yes. In what game developed by Toby Fox does a player control a human child who has fallen into the underground, a large secluded region underneath the surface of the earth separated by a magic barrier? No idea. One, two, Undertale. three, four, five. Actually, I've never played Undertale as well. Oh, really? Yeah. Well, it's, I've only played like a little bit of it. <laughs> <laughs> In Team Fortress 2, which character says the line, PLAY BALL! I've never played Team Fortress 2, so I'm going to guess... Is it heavy? No, it's... No! It's done! He actually, he actually carries around a baseball bat and a baseball. <laughs> okay. What was the Telltale Games? Um, what was Telltale Games' first ever game called? No idea. One, two, three, four, five. Telltale Texas Hold'em. Never heard of that. What game released in 1995 featured an earthworm as the main character? Worms. Nope, it was oh, no. Earthworm Jim. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five. Shattered Steel was released on DOS in 1996 and was the first game released by what game developer? No idea. One, two, three, four, five. Bioware. Oh, <laughs> I'm doing so bad. Oh no, aliens! Leave me alone! Oh. <laughs> you, now you get. Now you get. Oh, no. <laughs> what PC game? What PC card game features the characters from Warcraft? Um, Hearthstone. Correct. Yay! Um, what survival game released in 2017 puts you on a mysterious island inhabited by dinosaurs? Oh, I remember this one, but I don't remember the name, but I'm... Oh, what was the name? Oh, I've forgotten the name. I know, I know, I'm pretty sure it's something to do with Jurassic World. It... it what, is it Jurassic Park? No, Ark Survival. Oh no, that's what. Ah, oh, damn! I knew that one as well. Oh no! Oh no! Oh, I'm what? doing so bad. <laughs> what game company developed Heroes of the Storm? No idea. One, two, three, four, five. It was Blizzard. Oh no. Oh, I'm doing so bad. <laughs> Alright, um, Path of Exile is what type of game? I have no idea. I've never played Path of Exile. So, one, two, three, four, five. What game released on September 2017 is considered a run-and-gun indie game developed by Studio MDHR and has a throwback to old-time cartoons? Could you say the question again? What game released in September 2017 is considered a run-and-gun indie game developed by Studio MDHR and has a throwback to old-time cartoons? Cuphead. Correct. Yes. What action adventure dungeon crawler game boasts a death count of four thousand six hundred forty-seven deaths on average per playthrough? I have no idea. All right, one, two, three, four, five. Dark Souls. Yeah, never played it. So. 
What MOBA style game developed by High Res Studios allows you to play as a mythical figures and even gods to team up against an enemy team using special abilities? Alright, one, two, three, Smite. four, five. Never played Smite this Oh, what's that? Oh, the timer. It's the 30 minute timer is up. Alrighty. So, so, all right. So, how much money do you have currently? Uh, ten thousand six hundred and twenty. Oh wow! Yeah, you definitely beat me. I have eight thousand seven hundred twenty-two. <laughs> oh. so, so, adding uh, ten points to your total, you accumulated twenty-four points. So definitely not uh, enough. Yeah, to beat no, no. So fifty. <laughs> But still a decent run. You were you were halfway there, man. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I tried my best. <laughs> Even, I knew I knew I was gonna fail. And that that's trying is what counts here on the gauntlet, guys. <laughs> 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 All right, so I have the wheel of punishment up on my screen here. <laughs> I'm about to spin it. And we will find out exactly what Sean Morbido's fate is. Oh no. Guys. So, here we go. Spinning the wheel. Oh, what's it gonna land on? I'm nervous. Oh, it's not too bad. <laughs> you must do an impression of Darth Vader who just farted in his suit. Oh. <laughs> Okay, okay. Well, how am I gonna... Alright. Hmm. <laughs> Luke. <laughs> Luke. <laughs> I am your father. Sorry, it was so authentic. <laughs> he, saw, he sounded like he got a good whip and it was just... <laughs> I, can't, I can't even do that. Oh, that was, oh, that was funny. That, that was great. Well, thank, thank you so much for coming on this game show. Yeah, no You're problem. Awesome. <laughs> and guys, thank you for watching. If you guys liked it, leave a like. Be sure to head over to Don's channel. Check out my channel too. Oh yeah. You guys are watching on Sons. So guys, as always, stay awesome. I'm Dark J. And I'm Sean sure Morbida. There we go. And we're <laughs> out. <laughs> Bye.